In, okay, so th there was another video, um, and there's a lot of them out. I don't know if you're into uh, ancient history and that sort of thing. The um, there's this theory uh, about where that they found where Atlantis was, um, and he's the guy that's been doing a lot of videos on this um, uh, ricotta, stru uh, ricotta structure in Africa which is the Eye of the Sahara, which is meant to be where Atlantis was. He's done loads of videos on this, and they're very compelling. He's brought out another one. I've not seen this yet, and uh, I thought we'd watch it now, because I'm quite curious. So uh, let's put it on, shall we? See what he has to say. There's been some developments involving the Rishat structure. This site keeps on getting more and more interesting, and the evidence continues to stack that it is by far the most likely location for Atlantis. Now, for those of you who don't... There's no, there's no such thing as Atlantis. <sighs> I mean, the thing is, the, the planet's changed a lot since then. Who's to say it, something like that didn't exist? I mean, there's lots of cities that are under the ocean. Lots of cities have been buried under the sea due to rising tides how do we know Atlantis wasn't one of them i mean this is a ritual structure now i it conveniently paused there didn't i uh but it does look a central thing ring of water ring of land ring of water ring of land mountains to the side you know this it is very compelling to think this could actually have been atlantis very compelling and we, we already know for a fact that Sahara wasn't always a desert. It was lush, uh, lush and green. There's been uh, whale bones found in the Sahara. There's uh, all sorts been found there to contradict the fact that it's always been a desert. So let's see what he has to say anyway. I don't think that. If nothing else, I'm here to tell you that you're really gullible. Thanks. Become more apparent than ever. I like to. I like the mystery of believing. The Rishat structure, often referred to as the Eye of the Sahara is one of the most captivating and mysterious geological formations on Earth. It's captivating. Situated in the heart of the Sahara Desert, this massive circular formation has intrigued scientists, explorers, and theorists for decades. Its discovery and subsequent studies have led to a wealth of theories and speculation oh, that's reflecting huge. the profound mystery surrounding its origin. Was a massive structure once here that suddenly vanished? Could it have had a massive impact on planet Earth? Or could it be an ancient mining site used by perhaps aliens or another advanced civilization? Could humans have had a role oh. in this mysterious formation? As, the, as soon as they say aliens, it's like, oh, come on. Try and keep it scientific. Try and keep to the facts. Try and, you know, try and justify your, uh, your, your thinking, your thoughts with proof. Don't go aliens. It's just like, and then people go, oh, cuckoo. And you lose people's interest when they do that. The Richard structure first came to the attention of the scientific community in the 1930s when French geologist Theodore Monod embarked on an expedition to explore the vast and largely he looks homeless in the Sahara Trump. Desert. Monod's expedition was primarily focused on geological mapping, but during his travels, he noticed a peculiar circular formation that stood out starkly against the otherwise monotonous landscape of the desert. This structure, visible from higher elevations, appeared as a large bullseye-like pattern in the sand, prompting initial curiosity, but not immediate investigation. It wasn't until the 1960s, during the era of space exploration, that the true scale and nature of the Rishat structure were fully appreciated. Astronauts mm. aboard NASA's Gemini 4 mission captured high-resolution images of Earth, including the Sahara Desert, from space. From this vantage point, the structure was clearly visible as a colossal, circular formation stretching across a significant portion of the desert. These images ignited interest within the scientific community, leading to more focused research and exploration. Yeah, there's probably there's loads of salt all around the lower the levels of it. The structure's origin was the subject of intense debate and speculation. Its nearly perfect circular shape led many to hypothesize that it was the result of a meteorite impact. Yeah, I was literally going to say that. such craters often exhibit similar features. However, as scientists began to study the structure more closely, they realized that the truth was far more complex oh, wow. and mysterious. One of the most striking they build aspects of the Rishat structure is its size. 
The formation spans approximately 40 yes. kilometers in diameter, making it visible from space and one of the most prominent geological features in the Sahara Desert. To put this into perspective, the structure is roughly equivalent in size to the city of Paris or the entire area of New York City. This immense size, coupled with its nearly perfect concentric rings, added to the mystery and allure of the structure, leading to numerous theories and speculations. Its size is so immense that it can only be fully appreciated from high Look altitude that, so space, cool. where it appears as a giant bullseye in the vastness of the Sahara Desert. Detailed geological studies eventually debunked the meteorite impact theory. Oh. There was no evidence of the high-pressure minerals, such as shocked quartz, that are typically associated with impact events. Instead, researchers Hello. determined that the Rishat structure was a deeply eroded geologic dome, composed of different layers of sedimentary rock that had been exposed over millions of years. The concentric that just happened to do a perfect circle almost. ...things were found to be the result of differential erosion, where harder rock layers resisted erosion more effectively than softer layers, creating the distinct bullseye pattern visible today. The Richard structure's unique geology offers several fascinating insights into Earth's distant past. The structure is composed of Proterozoic sedimentary rock, which is estimated to be over two and a half billion years old, making it one of the oldest geological formations on the planet. The central part of the structure is composed of Ordovician rocks, which are about 480 million years old. This wide You've got to say, there's a lot, apparently there's a window tons of, the history, of rocks all over the place. One of those rocks were the last bits of houses that fall down. The Sahara region. One of the most visually striking aspects of the Richat structure is its resemblance to a human eye when viewed from space, a feature that has earned it the nickname Eye of the Sahara. The formation's circular shape, combined with its concentric rings, gives the impression of an eye gazing out from the desert, a phenomenon that has captured the imagination of many and contributed to its mystical aura. While the idea that the Richard structure was created by a meteorite impact has been discredited, the exact process behind its formation what? remains a subject of scientific debate. The most it's widely the rock accepted everywhere. theory suggests that the structure is the result it's like of there's been mining going on uh, and or quarry the there surface. According to this theory, magma from deep within the earth began to push upwards, creating a domed uplift in the overlying sedimentary rock layers. However, instead of forming a volcano, the magma cooled and solidified below the surface, leading to the gradual collapse of the dome. Over millions of years, erosion exposed the concentric rings that are visible today. Another theory posits that the Richat structure could have been formed by hydrothermal activity. This process involves the circulation of hot water through rock layers, causing chemical alterations. Yeah, I, I'd wish they just like try and actually say, yes, there's proof of people that lived here. Apparently not. I don't think anything... Think, I, I don't think there's been a lot of proof, but I think they have found the odd thing here and there. That has been left by a human being from thousands of years ago. I, I'm not sure. Circular patterns. Although less widely accepted than the volcanic theory, it remains a possibility that some scientists continue to explore. The formation of the Rishat structure is also believed to be connected to the tectonic activity that shaped the Sahara region. The okay. Sahara Desert, though largely flat today, was once a much more dynamic landscape, influenced by the movement of tectonic uh, plates. Pangea. The structure may represent the remnants oh, of a much larger geological Pan process that Pan occurred when the African continent was still undergoing significant tectonic upheaval. The immense size and complexity of the Richat structure make the idea of human construction seem highly improbable. Spanning I'll a diameter of 40 kilometers, with rings that are perfectly concentric and several kilometers wide. The structure would have required an immense amount of labor, advanced engineering knowledge, and a purpose that remains difficult to conceive. Additionally, there is no evidence of human activity or artifacts that would suggest the structure was man-made. However, some fringe theories have suggested that the Richard structure could have been an ancient construction, possibly by a lost civilization. These theories are often linked to the legend of Atlantis, the mythical city described by Plato. Proponents of this theory argue that the structure's size, shape and location correspond to descriptions of Atlantis, 
leading them to speculate that it could I think, be the remains of this legendary city. I think a lot of people believe it because they want to believe it, recent years, if that makes sense. by the structure's circular shape, size, and location in the Sahara Desert. People like the mystery and that the Rishat structure magic. could be the remains yeah. of Atlantis, as described by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. Plato's dialogues describe Atlantis as a powerful and advanced civilization that existed around 9,000 years before his time. He depicted it as a large island, divided into concentric rings of land and water, located beyond the Pillars of Hercules, which is commonly associated with the Strait of Gibraltar. Proponents of the Atlantis theory argue that the Richard structure's concentric rings closely match Plato's description, and its location mm. in the Sahara Desert could correspond to the island's destruction and subsequent desertification. Establishing the age of the Richard structure has been a I mean, they're still finding the cities that have been lost for thousands upon However, thousands of years that no one ever knew about, and they're still finding them now. Based on the ages of the rocks that make up its various layers. there's no one in the last ten years the that they've found and the digging up. Composed of Ordovician rocks, approximately half a billion years old, while the outer layers are made up of even older Proterozoic rocks. Yeah, they've just found another Colosseum, like a smaller Colosseum in uh, Italy or something. Determined through radiometric dating, a technique that measures the decay of radioactive isotopes in rocks to determine their age. By analysing the different layers of rock within the structure, scientists have pieced together a timeline of its formation, revealing that the structure is one of the oldest geological formations on Earth. The Rishar structure's mm. resemblance to a human eye when viewed from space has led to various symbolic interpretations. Some theorists propose that the structure was designed by an ancient civilization to serve as a signal or marker, visible from great distances, possibly even to extraterrestrial beings. Mm. This idea taps into the broader theme of ancient... No, I, I, I don't believe for a second is anything to do with aliens. Not for a second and astronaut theories which suggest that advanced civilizations or extraterrestrial do i believe in aliens played a role um i don't believe in aliens per se uh if if i'm being honest i'd like to think that there are other races or uh, there is life out there somewhere um i would think it'd be quite likely that there is life out there there's so many so many planets and there's so much space out there it'd be a lot of space that's wasted if there was nothing else if that makes sense so i'd like to think that there is another species out there another alien planet out there with life on it um because it'd just be a waste of if it wasn't um I, I, I just think it'd be crazy not to think that it would be possible. So, in shaping Earth's history, the region Do you believe in surrounding aliens? the structure is not devoid of interest, both geologically yeah. and archaeologically. The Sahara yeah. Desert, well, so few you largely do, inhospitable today, was once a lush and fertile region, home to ancient human civilizations and a diverse array of flora and fauna. Mm -hmm. Evidence of ancient river systems now long dried up has been found throughout the Sahara, indicating that it was yeah. once a much more happy. Yeah, so these apparently the Sahara had some of the like the largest lakes in the world, like things were like gigantic lakes. Uh, yeah, there was three of them. Yeah, like huge three gigantic lakes, bigger than anything we have now, that have gone and they're just dirt and sand. Habitable environment. While the most widely accepted theory is that the Rishar structure is a natural geological formation, the lack of definitive evidence for its origin has led to various alternative theories. Some suggest that the structure could be the remnants of a massive ancient caldera, the result of a supervolcano mm. that once existed in the region. This theory posits that the structure was formed by a massive volcanic eruption that collapsed the magma chamber creating the concentric rings seen today. However, this theory is not widely supported, as there is no evidence of volcanic rock or ash in the area. No, Another fair enough. theory proposes that the Richard structure could have been a site of ancient mining activity. The circular shape and concentric rings could have resulted from systematic mining operations, where different layers of rock were removed over time. 
However, there is no archaeological evidence to support this theory, and it is unlikely that ancient peoples would have had the technology or resources to undertake such a massive project. Place a big place. Maybe just haven't found While it yet. While these ideas are largely speculative, they highlight the enduring fascination with the Rishar structure and its potential yeah, that's significance massive. in human history. That is huge. So, I don't know, I've, I haven't seen, that's the first time I watched that, and I was hoping they'd come along with some more evidence. It just seemed more of this um, retread of what they've already told us and that sort of thing. So, it wasn't as good as I, I'd had hoped, unfortunately, but yeah. Uh, I, I don't think it was anything to do with aliens. <laughs>